all of this, see all of this, this has got to go. It's, it's, it's just too hot. It's too damn hot. What was the reason? So the reason why I decided to shave all this off is, well, multiple reasons. One being that um, it's like so hot right now. And I know that's not good enough for some of you. Number two, I straightened my hair, I think a couple months ago. It was like back when winter was kind of ending. But I have some like straight strands in here that like some of my hair stayed straightened after I got it straightened and never really fully recovered. Three, the sides of my hair are a lot shorter than the top of my hair. And now with some of my hair being straight, it just makes it look even weirder and all swampy and just uneven. And I really don't know what else to do besides, you know, cut it. Four, I am tired of cornrowing my hair. I do it a lot because I wear a lot of wigs, I do a lot of wig reviews, and I just don't see the point in having all this hair if, you know, it's always under a wig. I'm just gonna shave it off today. And I feel like today is the perfect day to shave it because it's hot. Here we go. I'm like, how do I? This is a lot different than I expected, but. Oh, there's a big old chunk missing out of there now. Ooh, Lord Jesus. This is the new wave. All you guys need to get into it, okay? Watch 2020, everybody's gonna have this hairstyle. And it's funny how it switches like that, but now the forbidden fruit must be tasted. So voila, this is the finished look. I mean, it looks uneven right now, but I think it's just still wavy. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go full, full bald. Like shave all of the hair down to like the root. But I think this is good enough. But I know a lot of you out there are like, eh, Miles, why did you take it off? Like, no, oh my God. I promise you it's not that serious. I've never been the one to cry over my hair, except when my mom was tugging at my edges when I used to have an afro. No, she's here by the way. <laughs> but besides that, I've always been the one to just do my hair. You know, I have an impulse, a strong desire to change it. I'll just change it right there and then. I don't like waiting for things, at least when it comes to my hair, I don't like putting it off. I am very fickle. So if I feel like I want to shave my head after three years of, you know, growing up my hair, I will shave my head. If I feel like bleaching my hair, even though it's already dead, you know, and permed, I will bleach my hair. You know, we don't care. We know the consequences. And it's whatever. Let me show y'all how much hair is on the floor right now. It's kinda ridiculous. Now I'm going to dye my hair. I'm actually kind of um, scared because I haven't used this dye before. Before I did this, I just wanted to make sure that I wouldn't, one, burn my scalp, and two, I wanted to make sure that I got a bleach that would actually bleach my hair, not turn it orange. So I looked some videos up on YouTube and boom, there was Alyssa Ashley's bald blonde head and I was like, yep, we are watching this one because I know Alyssa Ashley has been blonde and 
short-haired for a very long time and um, I don't know, I just kind of trusted that. Her hair looks really cute, still looks cute. We're just gonna cross our fingers and hope that our hair gets as light as hers. So I got the same kind of bleach she did and the same developer she did, but I got a different toner. This one is the Platinum Toner from the same line. I don't want any yellow, okay? I want to dye my hair pink with this Overtone Pastel Pink Deep Treatment. So I want it to be as pastel as possible, but I don't think we're gonna be able to achieve that, this pink today. So we're just going to you know, hold off on that and see how well this bleach does. Pray with me. Don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> this smells actually really bomb. Reminder: Don't sniff the chemicals. Okay. So this developer was only four dollars, y'all. Four dollars, and that's just without the Sally's Beauty Supply discount. Okay. So, cheers, girls. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> Excuse me. So you see here, we've got a nice frothy mixture. Hopefully this doesn't like give me an allergic reaction because BeautyCon is literally tomorrow. And if I'm swollen at BeautyCon, I guess that's just going how, how it's going to be, you know? So far, it's so good. It's only a faint burn. Just kind of right here at the top, a little bit at behind my ear. But that's about it. And um, it's already turning pretty blonde. Like, can y'all see that? Like, she's already really yellow at the top. Are you ready to see the blonde? I was not expecting to actually have blonde hair the first try. I was actually expecting to be to have to do like two treatments, but it got really, as you can see, like Cisco blonde. Now you can also see there are some patchy spots in there, um, probably because of the grease that I use around the perimeter of my hairline, and it's a little patchy in the back. Um, but besides that, like it's it looked pretty good to me, like. <laughs> so the bleach I left on for about 18 minutes it only tingled at the most didn't really have an allergic reaction yet so woo. moving on I'm going to use the ammonia free toner in platinum what my hair looks like with it toned. I'm not sure if I can really see a difference. Let's do like a side by side. Y'all see, y'all seeing anything different? Now it's time for Big Bertha! Overtones Pastel Pink Deep Treatment. Now this is like a conditioner with a little bit of hair dye in it. So it says just to wait 10, 15 minutes and then rinse and clean. I feel like one of those flavor dolls. Y'all remember flavor dolls? Oh my god, I should totally do like an era one day. But that day is not today. It's not really the pink I was going for. It's kind of reddish pink. That that reddish pink color you get when you just still have a little bit of yellow left in your hair. But honestly, on camera, it doesn't look that bad, but it is quite patchy. Can y'all see that? Like, the color. I'm gonna I'm let y'all look at the back. Don't scream, but um, it's, uh, I think she's pretty uneven. Like, um, I'm actually super inspired to like wear my hair out now, 
even though I don't have any. I feel like this is really going to, surprisingly enough, dress up my look. And don't forget, my 4C texture hair will be available on eBay for the low, low price of just $3,000. Link will be down below in the description. Buy it now. Thank y'all so much for watching me destroy my hair. And until next time, it's been me, Miles J, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.